It's finally here. The Autumn Update for Transport Fever 2 has just been released and today we're going to have a quick look at it. So, first screen, some of the new stuff that's actually been released into the game. So, Mod.io, that we already actually know about. So we're going to take a look at that. We've also got improved traffic simulation. So we're going to be checking that out. Hopefully that means that the, we don't get the traffic jams that we used to have and cars will actually overtake each other, which I think from what I've seen of the video that the devs have released is that that's exactly what they're going to do. We've got improved grid lines when building roads. That would be great to look at. Right, let's just go through these. There we go. That's the enhanced roads, the road construction. Uh, we've got simplified construction and replacement as well. That'd be good to look at. We've got three-way switches. And is that on here? Is it, maybe it's not on here. So we've got more options for road and track construction. We'll check that out as well. There we go, three-way switches. And we've got many other improvements, including bug fixes and quality of life features. So we'll be able to see all that. Let's go into the game. We're going to start a new free game. In fact, before we do that, let's have a look at the new mod browser. Let's jump into there. And as you can see, one thing I didn't realize that they were going to do is so in here is have Steam Workshop and Mod.io. So Mod.io is if you've got a console, you can also download the mods from here, which is great. Looks like you can just jump into the mods like so. And this looks an interesting mod actually. I'm entirely sure how you subscribe. Is that button doesn't seem to work at the minute. Let's jump onto Steam. The subscribe button seems okay there. So I'm guessing you just click on it and it downloads it. What are you? None of the subscriptions work at the minute. That's interesting. Do you have to create a login? Maybe you do. We're not going to do that now though. So I'm just going to start a free game. We'll see if there's any improvements to speed and everything like that. So we'll do one of one small, that'll be fine. And we'll go from the latest year. And we'll just leave like that. So I think first we'll just we've just started the map, so let's just see if the performance is actually any better. So the camera. The actual trees, do they look any different? They look slightly better. See if it's actually running any quicker. So we're playing at 4K here. Frame rate is slightly higher, I think. That means we haven't obviously got anything built at the minute, so that might be why it's slightly better. It does feel smoother, but um, I think until we get some actual stuff built, you probably won't know. It does actually look slightly better as well, the graphics. So when you zoom right out, you can actually see more detail. Okay, so let's give the road, new road tools a try. So let's go into medium street. I think now, as you drag this out, ah, there we go. So we can go down these, snap to these lines. is going to make building these much easier. Make a junction like so. I assume we can do the other way. Yeah, we can. Ah, so that's actually pretty useful. I'm guessing you can do the same with track. Let's have a go. So we don't want to do that. Let's do a track like so. Yeah, so you can do, and I'm not entirely sure why you'd want to do going off in that sort of angle. Because if you wanted to join here, you can't do that. I'm not entirely sure what the point is of that. Oh, there we go. So once you've kind of done the curve, you can then go down a straight line. That is actually really useful. One of the other things they've done is actually change the way you upgrade bridges. So let's go for this one. So you've now got the option when you can select the bridge to pick which bridge you want. So we can go 
go with one of these, gives you the price of how much it's going to take to replace it. And then you just replace it. It's so much easier than it was before. We've got automatic snapping now of depots. So let's grab a depot. Okay, so well now when you go up to the road, it snaps automatically to it. Kind of always stays horizontal to it. Whereas before, you'd have to shift it around with these tools. Now we can just snap it straight on like so. The next thing we've got is three-way switches. So we've got a two-way switch here. So what we should be able to do, add another track like so. And then I'm guessing, so the way this showed it on the uh, video that they produced, so then they kind of had it come in out around like that if you want. Okay, maybe you need to do the straight. Okay, maybe you need to do the straight line first. So let's get rid of that. And like so, and then you can do a three-way switch. Like so. Can make this back. Three way switch and three way switch. There we go. So we kind of go and cross across the uh, lines like that. I'm not entirely sure if you would ever do that, but it's got the ability there if you need to. Looks like the upgrading is actually better as well. So if we want to upgrade for this, you can actually clearly see now where you're clicking, whereas before it did used to be a bit of a pain. That's actually really nice. Does that what see if it does it the same on the roads? Yeah it does. That actually works really well. So I've laid up an old map here. So this is one of the series that I did a little while ago. We can see the traffic simulation on this. Hopefully, because there's, as you can see, quite a bit of traffic around, we'll be able to see it on this map. So the update does seem to have made this map actually quite a bit smoother. There's quite a lot going off on this map. There's sort of everywhere. And it does feel a lot smoother. Just kind of zooming in and out. It would normally lag before, but it does feel actually a little bit better. So we've got a car here anyway, looking at the simulation, traffic simulation, passing this bus. So I think it should move over lanes, back into this lane. There we go. So this bus or coach should go up here. And we should see the cars behind it, assuming they go up here, overtake it. Could do with one of them going into this lane. Okay, so he's pulled into that lane. He's actually going to catch up with the coach. Looks like it. So he should try and overtake. Overtake? Of course not. But we did see the cars kind of pull in, so... That should improve the kind of flow of the traffic quite a bit. And they do swap lanes quite a bit, as you can see. Let's just have a look around here, see if we can see any uh, improved traffic here. What oh, no, is going off here? There's obviously not improved there. Unless they're all trying to turn up on this bridge. It could be, I suppose. They are filling up the lanes a little bit better. Because before they'd just be all queuing up this lane. And as you can see at these junctions. They're actually deciding to go up, up different ways. Let's see if we've got somewhere else with a bit of traffic. As soon as it's going straight on. 
So if any of these go straight on, they should try and overtake it. There we go. I don't know if you just saw that. He moved out into this lane. I bet he's not there. Again, we've got the traffic using both lanes nicely. Now, have they fixed the people? Always could find a person standing weird or walking strange. Let's have a look if we can see anybody. Clearly, everyone's going to be walking around. There we go. Clearly not. That we've still got the weird walking people. So they're the main things that have been released for the game. Anyway, there are a whole load of bug fixes as well. I've linked the release notes down in the description. Go and check that out if you want to see what else has been released. Hope you've liked the first look at the release. Make sure you hit that like button if you've enjoyed it. And why not subscribe? We are going to be doing a series now that this has been released. And this is the final update. So we've got to make the most of this before the next Transport Fever is hopefully announced. So thanks for watching. Like I say, make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. And I'll see you next time.